Hello everyone, I'm NGC, and today's video, I'm going to be discussing you guys about an SMO theory I've had in my mind for a few months now. And side note, I am not trying to be like SMO theory and Jeffy theory since like, I'm not the biggest fan of theories, I'm just going to be honest. It's mainly like push videos, animations, etc. But I do like game theory and I really wanted to start making SMO theory so I'm think I'm going to do this but... I'm not going to be doing any theories on video games, movies, or anything like that. Probably just SML. And even if I do theories of them, it'll probably be like a video too. So, don't really expect me to do more theories on this channel, guys. Since theories is not what main is. like. It's not the main thing I do on my channel. It's push videos, animations, reactions gaming videos, etc. But still, I do want to make this video, honestly. And this is one of those videos where I'm going to start making short videos before I get onto the big projects, which are almost halfway done making, thankfully. But anyway, all right, my theory is that Phoebe from SML is alive. Okay, 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 I know you guys are going to be saying, NGC, how? How is this possible? Phoebe died. We saw it for our own two human eyes. Well, that is where you're wrong. You are wrong. So basically, I'm going to be explaining in three categories in this video why Phoebe is actually alive from SML and we were right to this whole time. Alright, Exhibit A. How did Phoebe do this at all? Alright, so, remember in the video called Jeffy's Sister Returns, where Jeffy talks about his backstory with Phoebe and how Phoebe died and we never saw her ever again. Well, in that story, he explains that one day he and Phoebe were running how to ride bicycles, where Phoebe was on a bike and accidentally got ran over by a car on the road and then she died, but here's the thing. Phoebe didn't actually die. See, this is her plan the whole time. I'll get more into this later in the video, but all I'll say for now is that Phoebe wanted this to happen because her life was miserable and she wanted to fake her death so that like, they think she's dead when really she is not dead and, and she can live a whole better life than the life she used to have. So how did she do this at all? Now, in the video where she was riding a bike, Phoebe spotted at the difference that a car was coming, and she had the right idea to get knocked down by the car. Notice how in the scene how Phoebe says she can't stop riding the bike. Now, people could say she was just being dumb since she doesn't know how to ride bicycles, but I think Phoebe was doing this on purpose, just so that she could get hit by the car. Jeffy and his family thinks that she is dead, and for her to escape. Now... How did she survive, you may ask? Well... Alright, Exhibit B. How did Phoebe survive the car crash, you may ask? Now that we talked about how she did this, let's talk about how she survived the car crash. Now, in order to figure out how she survived the car crash, we need to establish the one who knocked her down at all. I actually know who it is, so in three seconds, I'm going to reveal who it is, and your minds are going to be shocked. Alright, let's, let's just get over it. Alright, three, two, one. Woody is the one who knocked Phoebe down. Alright, listen to me, listen to me for a minute. Okay, people are going to say, but NGC, Woody is a hero. How would he do this? Well, see, here's the thing. Notice the truck aka the vehicle that knocked Phoebe down, which it looks like the exact same one Woody has in the Jeffy Loses His 2 video where we can see Woody's truck, which is the exact same vehicle that Phoebe was knocked down by. Now people could say it was due to right behind the scenes and crazy stuff since this is Rance's truck after all. However, it makes sense why Woody would do this, because in the Life is Wolf video, Woody also knocks down like Junior and his dog, which shows that this isn't the only time Woody has done this. So it makes sense how he do this for Phoebe.
Alright, so this is how I came up with. So in the exact video how Jeffy mentioned that his sister was knocked down. After she was knocked down, Jeffy was sad and went back home to tell his mom that his sister was knocked down. However, when Jeffy was gone, the vehicle, aka Woody, drove back and felt bad because he saw that he knocked down Phoebe, what he did. So he took Phoebe's body and he like went back to the SMO house where he is and he nursed her to hell and he's been nursing her for years now. Now you may be asking, how would Woody do this without anyone seeing? I remember the secret door video? That is how, like, that is how Woody was able to put Phoebe there because obviously no one would go in there anymore because it's the secret door. That was with, like, all the dead bodies. Now this was in 2017 and Phoebe's, like, death or, like, how she was knocked down was years ago. But Woody probably has, like, a bond or, like, a place he could have stayed Phoebe at. And Woody has been nursing Phoebe to hell. However... After Jeffy explained this, Woody overheard this, and, like, he was, like, worried that people were going to assume it was him. So, he, like, moved to another country with Phoebe, and they drove away, never to be seen again. Now, this takes place after the asteroid, like, this takes, like, the Jeffy Sister Returns video comes out before the asteroid video. And it makes sense why Woody would, like, move out of the country, since... Why else how we like why else would we have not seen Woody for all those years? Except 2024, but I'm not really talking about the modern SML years. I'm mainly talking about the OG like years. It makes sense because like everyone thinks Woody is dead. Mario is the only one who knows that Woody is like not dead. And Mario is very forgettable because it's established in some of the modern day videos that Marvin is becoming old and he forgets a lot of things almost instantly. So he forgot Woody exists and he probably forgot Woody was still out there. And like after all of this, like Woody has been living with Phoebe ever since, never been seen by anyone ever again. Alright, Exhibit C, aka the last exhibit, the motive. Basically, this is Phoebe's motive and why she would do this all along. Well, you need to remember, Phoebe had a bad life growing up. Sure, Jeffy was there and she had fun with like her brother, but you gotta remember, Jack wasn't around that much. He was just mainly paying and paying the bills. And even for like, like, or, like the moments where he was with them, he wasn't really paying attention with them. And Nancy was beating like Phoebe a lot, so it makes sense why Phoebe would do this at all, because she hated her new life and wanted to start a new life. And Woody... He was actually kind to Phoebe since, you know, Woody's a good guy. So, it makes sense why Phoebe didn't go back to her old wife. And it makes sense why she would go with Woody since Woody is a lot nicer than, like, Nancy. Sure, Jeffy is nice, but Jock doesn't really show up much. And Nancy is the one who mainly takes care of them. And she just abuses them the whole time. So, it would make sense why Phoebe would do this at all. But anyway, that's just a theory. On a summer theory. I'm trying to be like Matt Pat because, you know, he did retire. But anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your SML theories in the comments down below. Let me know if, like, this is a good theory and it, like, if this theory does make sense at all. Because I don't know if it does, but I think it does. But I'll see you all in the next video.